Welcome to Synagogues of Arkansas Part 2. Our first stop on this trip is in Hot Springs at Congregation House of Israel. It is a Reformed temple. Shabbat services are held every Friday evening and twice monthly on Saturday mornings. Richard S. Chapin or Chapin is rabbi. The congregation was organized in 1875 by 20 families. Congregants had been worshiping even earlier in 1872 on an informal basis. In fact, one fellow who had arrived in 1856 from Galicia operated a stagecoach between Little Rock and Hot Springs. This location housed the congregation since 1905. However, the sanctuary was, was re rebuilt in 1961. And here is a look at that sanctuary. Our next stop is Jonesboro, and we're looking at Temple Israel. The congregation now is very small, limited to about 20 families, and uses a visiting or student rabbi as the budget permits. The building shown here was constructed in 1960. We move on to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is the state's capital and largest city with about 198,000 residents. It also has three Jewish houses of worship. This overhead shot is of congregation Agudath Achim, which in English means Band of Brothers. It labels itself a traditional synagogue. Since 2009, its rabbi is Kalman Winnick. Its Shabbat services are held on Saturday mornings, and once a month, the teenagers take over the service. There are occasional Friday evening services. The congregation was founded in 1904. This current location was dedicated in 1976. We believe this to be a prior location of the synagogue in downtown Little Rock. It has been stripped of all vestiges and visages of Jewish identity. Our next stop in Little Rock is Congregation B'nai Israel. Shabbat services are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings at this Reformed temple. Barry Black is rabbi. The congregation has been in existence since 1866. The campus shown here was dedicated in 1975. Here is a look at its sanctuary and a correction. It's Rabbi Block, not Black. We apologize. And this brings us to our third Little Rock location, Chabad. Rabbi Pinchas Cement is director, and he is assisted by Rabbis Ben Zion Pape, Tzemach Menachem Mendel Mochkin, and Yosef Kramer. Shabbat services are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. There are also daily weekday services, and there is a mikvah located on the premises. Our final stop is in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, in Congregation on Shayemet. We're not exactly clear as to where it is currently located. It had a synagogue building until 2003, but it was sold and is now a nursing school. The congregation meets once a month and at most has 15 members. This concludes our trip through Arkansas and its Jewish presence. So, on to other states of the Union. Bye for now, and we'll see you real soon.